we have added a second bottle to the earlier rendering where we demonstrated how to create a custom bottle using Adobe Illustrator. So here again in um, Adobe Substance 3D Stager, we want to put some liquid in the bottle. And um, when you when you have just a, I guess a, a, a simple bottle and you can sometimes uh, just take the uh, bottle that you have and you know, duplicate it, make a copy of it. And so here's the second bottle. And then just reduce it in size a little bit. So you can do that, but the problem is you will have a, um, you know, if you have any other details, they're just not going to match. So the best way is to go back to Adobe Illustrator and create the, uh, the liquid there because you want the liquid to not fill up the bottle so that you can kind of see, you can see that it's there. So let's go back to Adobe Illustrator and here we have the, the second bottle. And so what we'll do is we'll just push this bottle off the screen right now and look at our line. And I'm just gonna make a copy of this because sometimes I will <laughs> mess stuff up and it's just good to have a copy there. All right, so what we want, and we don't need the cap for this and we don't need that bottom piece for this. Um, but we want to basically draw an interior line here. And there's a couple of ways to do that. Uh, I've found the easiest way is, or one way, is to uh, make the line thicker and then um, uh, take a stroke from that line. Uh, so let's do that. So let's uh, take this line here and we're going to copy it. So we will... Uh, copy it and we'll paste one in back and what we'll do is change the color so we can see it I'm going to change it to a uh, an orange like that and we'll make the line thicker so that we can see it and like I said there's a couple of ways of doing this and I'm just going to do it this way and right about there if you zoom if I zoom in uh, you can see the blue line was the original line and then the the second line um, is this orange one and I want to make the orange one uh, into I want a, a stroke of this inside so I'm going to lock the blue line so that it doesn't move and I will select the orange line make sure I got that selected and I can uh, go up to object uh, expand okay and then I can cut this this is now a line as and not a solid shape. I can go now and cut this here and somewhere around here, if I've got the lid up here, somewhere in the neck I want to cut it, so about there. And we'll get rid of the outside. Oops, and ungroup that I believe. Ungroup, there we go. And we'll get rid of the outside and only keep the inside. And this is now a shape but we just want, of course, the outline. And we'll just leave that in, as orange there. And so that's all we need. And we'll rotate that and send that to the export. You know, uh, you can click Export 3D Object. If you already have the asset export window open, you can actually just drag that and drop it on there. And so we know that there's our new, um, what we're going to use for the liquid. Now I made a mistake here because the liquid is not going to be hollow on the inside. So all we do is let's go ahead and, because uh, I believe that will update in there. So all we need to do is take that and move it right over into there like that. And then you can see that that's closed up there. And it should be updated in here. Uh, then we will OBJ, just as in the other video, and we'll export this out. Um, export that, and it'll go into the OBJ folder. Let's jump back into Adobe Substance 3D Stager, and we're just going to bring that liquid, we'll call it a liquid, we'll just bring it out and drop it in there. There it is. And let's, um, 
just bring it up a little bit so we can see that it's there. And let's align with this bottle here. Uh, go to our line tool and we want to bring that up to the front like that and over here like that. And then we want to center these. If something is a little bit off, let me check the bottle that we just brought in. Not that, not that, not that. Here, so we'll call this liquid. And in all caps. Okay, and this just seemed to be larger than my bottle, so I'm going to select it and just see what's going on here. Um, for some reason, it did come in larger, but that's not, it's not a huge deal, really. Um, because all we can do is I'm going to move this out of the way in case this happens to you. Uh, I'm going to see what the uh, size of this is, and it is um, 6.41. And so let's look at this guy, and this is 6.7, so maybe I enlarged it, I don't know. But I'm going to reduce the size so that it sits inside of that and make it about 6.3. Let's see what that looks like. So keep the chain locked over here and go to 6.3. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing where we put this on the inside because that's what we want. And maybe even a little bit smaller. But let's go ahead and align these again. And we want to bring this all the way over to that bottle. And we want to bring it to the front, which would be here. And then we want to center this and center that. And so I think it's in there, but I think I want it a little bit, little bit um, smaller. And so um, if it's centered, we can, we got the liquid there. We can just go ahead and reduce the size right here. And because it's, it's a cylinder, well, I was going to just do the size, but I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing. So let's go 6.2. Oops, move something uh, right there. Oops, yeah, I have. I still have the alignment tool there. So let's that. Turn that off. There we go. And we just have the liquid. And let's go 6.2 here. See what we got, 6.2. And that's coming in a little bit better. Uh, it's hard to see. Um, but what we'll do is we need to drop that down so that it's sitting inside the bottle. Not the base, the liquid is there. And we'll just drop that down in there. There we go. Okay, and then let's go ahead and give this a color, the liquid, so that we can, we can uh, render it and see if everything is correct. Um, so we go to our material and we want to just change that base color to um, something, something in there, and let's change the uh, opacity so we can see through it a little bit, and let's just hit ray tracing real quick and see what this looks like. Okay, it's still a little too solid, of course, and so let's knock that guy back, back a little more. There we go. We're getting there now. Okay, something like that. All right, that's much better, much better, much better. And I think I'm going to drop the bottle down a little, or the, the liquid down a little bit more. I think it's sort of sitting too high, somewhere about like that. And then you can see the edge of that bottle pretty good. So let's turn the ray tracing off and then just go to render and render this guy again. See what we got here. Okay. And so this is what I was attempting to do, to get the liquid in there and not have it, you know, um, going all the way up to the top of the bottle. So uh, thanks again for watching this video. And um, you can check out if you miss the uh, how to make the bottle in um, Illustrator for Stager. Um, you can check out the other my other video on that, and I'll leave a uh, the link down in the comments. Uh, all right, so thanks again, and um, look forward to uh, or you look forward to uh, more videos to come. Thanks.